Hey, this is Presh Tollwalker. Here's a fun problem that was given to nine-year-old students. We have a number pyramid with three rows. The top row is 13, then the middle row is six and seven, and the bottom row is two, four, and three. The number pyramid obeys the following rule. Each number in the middle and top rows is the sum of the two numbers below it. We now have another number pyramid. The top row is 40, the middle row is blank and heart, and the bottom row is 7, star, and 9. The question is, what is star plus heart equal to? I saw this problem on Reddit Ask Math. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. There are many ways to approach this question. I want to share different solutions, but I also want to share how I approached it from a gut reaction. One of the things I was trained to do when I took all these mathematical classes was to try and come up with guesses, educated guesses, conjectures, or pattern recognition, whatever you want to call it. So this is truly how I first thought about the question. We don't usually teach the skill in school because it takes too much time, but I just want to explain how I thought about it. So I first looked at the symbol for heart and the symbol for star, and I thought about the corresponding numbers in the first pyramid. This would be seven and four. So I looked at these two numbers and I said seven plus four is equal to 11. Is there any other way we could reach this number from the first pyramid? Well, immediately I looked at 13 minus two. So 13 minus two is equal to 11. So according to this pattern, we would take the numbers on this right pyramid and we would have 40 minus seven, which equals 33. So my first guess is that the answer would be 33. Who knows if this pattern will be proven to be true or not, but it's just nice to come up with some educated guess. The key in mathematics is coming up with the guess and then finding out and proving that it's the correct answer. This does turn out to be the correct pattern and let's see why. So how would a nine-year-old student approach this question? Most likely they would have used trial and error, also known as guess and check. So we'll start out with this number pyramid where the middle row is empty and this bottom row is empty in the middle. So we would make a guess at what star could be. So let's just say that star is equal to one. We can now solve for the rest of the number pyramid. So seven plus one is the number that has to be immediately above it, and seven plus one is equal to eight. We then have one plus nine, which is equal to 10, so that has to be the number above it. Now in the middle row, we take eight plus 10, and that's equal to 18, but 18 has to be equal to the number above it for this number pyramid, and 18 is not equal to 40. So we know that star cannot be equal to one. Now what if we raise star to be equal to two? We need to be a larger sum in the middle row. Then we have seven plus two is equal to nine. We have two plus nine is equal to 11. We then have nine plus 11, and that will be equal to 20, but 20 is not equal to 40, which is at the top. So again, the sum is too low. We've gone from a sum of 18 to a sum of 20. So each time we're increasing, we're raising the sum by two. So let's just jump ahead to say that star is equal to five. We then have seven plus five is equal to 12. Five plus nine is equal to 14. And then 14 plus 12 is equal to 26. So we're still far too low of 40. So let's just jump ahead and say that star is equal to 12. Seven plus 12 is equal to 19. 12 plus nine is equal to 21. And finally we have 19 plus 21 is equal to 40. So this is a valid number pyramid. So going at these numbers, we have that heart is equal to 21 and star is equal to 12. And this means star plus heart is equal to 12 plus 21, which equals 33. So 33 was the correct answer. And this is a valid way to solve the question. But let's look at it more systematically. This very question could be given to algebra students with the challenge of finding the values of heart and star. So let's work it out that way. So heart will be equal to the sum of star and nine. 
This gives the equation heart is equal to star plus 9. Let's say this missing entry in the middle row has a value equal to x. Then x will be equal to 7 plus star. So we have two equations. We have three variables so far. But let's work through these. Let's just add these two equations together. On the left hand side we have heart plus x and on the right hand side we have two star symbols and then we have 9 plus 7 which equals 16. So we have heart plus x is equal to 2 times star plus 16. Now we also have that x plus heart is equal to the number above it which is equal to 40. So 40 is equal to heart plus x but we also know that heart plus x is equal to 2 star plus 16. So these two equations must be equal to each other, which means that 40 is equal to 2 star plus 16. Subtracting 16 from both sides gives that 2 star is equal to 24. Dividing both sides by 2 gives that star is equal to 12. We can now substitute all the way to the first equation so that we have heart is equal to 12 plus 9, which equals 21. Therefore, the value of star plus heart is equal to 12 plus 21, which equals 33. And once again, we get to the answer of 33. But this is far too much work for nine-year-olds. The clever student would approach it in a slightly different way. We don't need to know the values of star and heart. We only need to know their sum. So how can we figure that out? Let's take a look at what we know from the number pyramid. We know that 40 is equal to the sum of the two numbers below it, which is equal to x plus heart. So we know one equation is that 40 is equal to x plus heart. What do we know about x? Well, x must be equal to the sum of the two numbers below it, so x is equal to 7 plus star. So that gives another equation. Now what would happen if we substitute x from the second equation into the first equation? We get that 40 is equal to 7 plus plus star plus heart. All we need to do is subtract 7 from both sides and we get that star plus heart is equal to 33. And therefore, star plus heart is equal to 33. Now the astute viewers will notice this is exactly the pattern that was guessed at the beginning of the video. We had heart plus star will be equal to the value of this top number minus this bottom left number. So star plus heart is exactly equal to 40 minus 7, which equals 33. So I was quite delighted to see that this pattern that I just guessed did turn out to be the correct way to solve the problem. I'm sure there are many other ways to solve this problem, and please do share your solution method in the comments section. What an interesting question. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems, one video at a time.